So 4 times 3, that's 12. So we basically wait for this oak planks to deplete 12 times. So 12 oak planks that we get out of this, out of here. That means 4 on each of these slots. Once that happens, which happens every 4 times that we... No, yeah, every 4 times that we power this crafter. Uh, once that happens, we power 3 times this crafter and we get the 12 oak plants back into this crafter. A lot of math. Oh, a lot of mad. I know, guys. So sorry about that, but it's, it is what it is. <laughs> what up, guys and fellow lovers of the cubic world? That was a clip from my last crafter video, which many of you seem to like. Such good feedback from you guys. I appreciate the good comments, and it reached almost a thousand views in the first 10 days. So not bad at all. Thank you, everybody. I did see, however, that some people seem to struggle a little with how the balancing of inputs and outputs of the crafter works. So today we take a look at the mats. But wait, please don't click out of the video yet. I swear I'll try to make it simple and it will be useful for you because after this you'll be able to make your own crafter contraptions with no issue. Promise. For this we'll take the pistons crafter from the last video as an example. And to craft a piston we need three wooden planks, four cobblestone, one redstone dust, and one iron ingot. And we can consider as raw materials or materials that don't need to be processed before by another crafter, the cobblestone, the redstone dust, and the iron ingots. Those we insert into the crafter directly using either hoppers or droppers, and the only materials left are of course the wooden planks. This we can consider as process materials since they have to be crafted from logs first. Let's put those ingredients now into one equation. So 3 planks plus 4 cobblestone plus 1 redstone dust plus 1 iron ingot equals 1 piston crafted. This is for the pistons crafter and we'll call it equation 1. But of course to get the planks we need to craft logs into them. So if we put that into an equation, we get that one log equals four planks, and we'll call this equation two. If we notice, in equation one, we have an input of three planks, but in equation two, we have an output of four planks. This is the only ingredient that they both share. And the trick is that we have to make this number the same for both equations. And this is what we call balancing. Now, the number of planks in equation 1 results to be greater than the one in equation 2. So, we'll start by increasing the number in equation 1. And we do this by increasing the opposite side of the equation. In this case, the output, because the planks are in the input. So, instead of one piston, we'll craft two pistons now. And this action doubles all of the ingredients as well. And now, where we had three planks before, we now have six planks. However, the number of planks in equation 1 is now greater than the one in equation 2. So we'll increase the number in equation 2 in the very same way, but this time we have the planks in the output, so the opposite side, the one that we have to change, is the input. So we change the number of logs to 2, and with this we get 8 planks as an output. Notice how to increase the number on one side, we have to increase the number on the opposite side of the equation, and then balance them out. We have to continue increasing amounts until both numbers of planks are the same. So we change equation 1 again. We change equation 2 again because equation 1 now has a greater number of planks than equation 2. And finally, equation 1 is changed once more. And notice how now the number of planks needed in equation 1 is 12. And the number of planks produced in equation 2 is also 12. Amazing! We've balanced out the two equations. But Giorgio, this seems like a lengthy process to do, especially with crafting recipes that require more than two crafters. So how can we make it quicker? Well, what we just did through all of these steps in maths is called finding the least common multiple, or LCM for short. If we go back to the original equations that we had, we can grab the number 3 from the first equation and the number 4 that we have in the second one. And look at this, if we multiply 3 times 4, we get the 12 that we had found before. Cool, huh? The same can be done for the entirety of the equations. 
we can cross multiply. So get the three from the first equation and multiply it times the second equation. Then take the four from the second equation and multiply it times the entirety of the first equation. In the end, we obtained the balanced equations that we had gotten before, but only in a couple of steps. This is just, of course, a little bit of numbers theory, very basic things. If it is easier for you to just use the first method of increasing the numbers of each equation at a time, you should get the same result. Also, there are plenty of sites out there on the internet that can find the least common multiple for you automatically. You just need to input the numbers and hit the calculate button and you'll get the result. Returning to our crafter system, we can now put both equations together and we get three logs plus 16 cobblestone plus four redstone dust plus four iron ingots equals four pistons. And if we separate by crafters, we know that the first crafter, the one that turns logs into planks, has to be pulsed three times per cycle. And the second crafter, the one that makes the pistons, has to be pulsed four times per cycle. And that way we get a balanced input of logs with a balanced output of pistons. And that is how we balance out the crafters inputs and outputs in an automatic crafting system. Now the only thing we have to do is figure out the speed and adjust the redstone accordingly of course. But that is for another video. If you want to see this in part 2, let me know if you found this video useful by hitting the like button and leaving a comment with your thoughts and if you want to see part 2. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already to see more content like this in the future. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!